My name is Delron. I'm 16. I'm in grade 10. And I'm here because I'm a smoker. I'm in grade 10. I'm here because I'm a stop smoking. Awareness and recovery program. Home is just like a place basically I can call like family because I could be myself as well as help others. The organization also opens up our eyes to see that drugs isn't really a way to get out of your problems that you go through daily. It doesn't only help you recover from alcohol and drug abuse, we also help with other things like your personal problems and stuff to get you where you actually need to be. It's equipped some children with a lot of skills in how to handle members in their family who take drugs. And they get a lot of support from Mr. Stefanis, especially it was his initiative, where he invites people in who are skilled that talk to them and give them advice on how to handle certain situations. I want it to be a fun organisation. I want it to be a place where young people can come and be comfortable. I want it also to be a place the kids are, who are troubled and who come from homes which are unmanageable and who find school as a safe haven. I want kids like that to be in for. And um, as a family, um, I hope to grow, grow with them. Uh, I am from my mother's mother. I was on my case because I was doing drug, not drug, stuff, yeah, this is drug. So, yeah, we came and we sat here with Mr. Stephanus and we spoke, and that's why I decided to try and change my life around. Well, Mr. Stephanus uh, usually speaks to us. He has tried to motivate us and find out a problem that maybe at our homes or if we're facing serious trouble. So far, I like to believe that we're going to grow from strength to strength. And every year we're going to do something even better. Kind of like the best for the figure <laughs> to us because he helps us get through a lot actually. He don't make decisions for us but he gives us solutions that could help us make our own wise decisions. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I would also say is that he's not there to judge you based on the mistakes that you've made or the past that you've been through. He's there to offer you a better future and guide you and help you on this journey. So we meet every week and then we introduce uh, something that is called shared therapy. I think it's a, a very good name because when you talk about uh, something around the pain of your life and something that you feel that uh, you don't want to talk about but far is able to get you to talk, um, I think it's a form of therapy. For young people to speak to other young people mm -hmm. is more interactive. So young people have the desire to be different just like Maybe I'm going through something and I need someone else's perspective on it. And that kind of helps us build ourselves up. It gives us time to rethink decisions and it also contributes to each other's lives in a positive way. The good thing is that some learners will never take drugs after they've seen the impact that drugs have on the community. They showed us pictures of what they looked like before drugs and what they looked like after drugs and also what they look like now that they are recovering. And it made us see that drugs doesn't complete you but it actually incompletes you because it tears you down. And then those who do take drugs have also been helped a lot because they get taken to drug rehab where they're exposed to different behavioural uh, procedures which helps them to overcome. One thing it definitely offers is support and that is what um, an, an addict or an alcoholic needs is support and if they're taught you know to stay away from drugs at that age we get we won't get a hundred percent success rate but I, I tell you it definitely would improve it would be more successful. They, they tend to work better in the classroom, they tend to be more focused, they tend to be more goal orientated because uh, they now are experiencing something positive in their lives. Especially at school, we tend to be content driven and we don't have a lot of 
activities at our schools. And four is something that allows them to relax also and to see another aspect of life. And their the whole attitude towards school tends to change. They are cool, <laughs> but they like different. They want, want they always like um, they're ambitious. They want something and they always go and get it. They on point. Boy has been a very good experience, especially I've learned many leadership qualities and abilities and it's really helped me grow as a person. It has taught me to be more self-confident. I have a lot of self-esteem now and it's given me leadership qualities. Far for me is like a, a, a human, it's, it's really a, a human program. Uh, it's a program for people. Once the youth um, have taken control of their lives, I see great things happening because alcohol, drugs and all these other vices that are available to them stifles their progress. I see a bright future for far. Get stronger and stronger day by day. All the challenges I'm facing. Uh, now I want to finish my routine and come with construction work on. Us as a team, we grow from strength to strength by aiming to achieve, you know, this program. Mm -hmm. I look forward to Finishing my school and getting on my team course, which is most important. Kind of going to the, into the law industry, look for studying law and being a lawyer or to my school in years. Success is never final. Failure is never fatal. It's courage that counts. One man with courage is a majority. And it is far that has that courage and it is far that is the majority.